Hi guys, welcome to We Fix Technology. Hope everyone is doing well. Well, today brought another tutorial about buggies. Though I've been getting a lot of response, people were asking, "Hey, how do we customize this standard website?" Though it's a great option to get started with with a basic website. However, you might have some customized requirements. So what I came up with the idea, I created a dedicated package created a little theme and on that theme made some customization let me tell you what all it changes so if you see this is the website which i did change applied the new theme it has a dark color first color is black then i made four or five changes let me explain first first of all it has a checkout page and i have hidden that part what they call uh billing address there was a field company name which was not required second thing i chose the country field could be uh it's a small tweak i'll let you know how it works the country field could be pre-selected so the users don't have to fill i chose india you could choose any and in the similar way there are uh more changes like fixed menu in the search bar before we had a sticky kind of uh, uh, search bar which was taking a whole lot of space I took that off and added in the menu right here and into a model form you see that it looks more great and more eye-catching if I search anything let me search and it, it works perfectly fine so this search uh, behavior has been improved at the same time if I come to any product let me come to a product I have added a sticky if you see on the mobile version, a sticky add to cart and buy now. Before they were not there. So I came up with the idea. Let's add them sticky so it increases the conversion, right? I consider that factor. At the same time, you may be seeing a new thing. I have added an extra flash sale countdown timer. Yes, if the product has a sale price and if you set up the date and time from to two, it should pop up itself and show the countdown on the real time, which increases the conversion and always a great experience. Let me see. Uh, sticky. Uh, yeah, these are the three, four changes what I made, but you could do a whole lot of customization. Let's go ahead and check it out. How to install this theme, how to set it up. So guys, just to let you know, we are a website development agency based in India, New Delhi. Have a rich experience in custom website development. If anybody, any of you need any website or maybe this buggy store needs some customization, feel free contact us. I'm going to put the description, the link in the description, right? And let's get started then. Cool. So here's the thing. Uh, GitHub, we fix technology and my profile, Bagisto Nexus theme. I made it as a composer package so you can directly inject it. Uh, my bad. This one is not the composer package. First, you have to download the theme. Let me tell you how it works. You come here on the code of this GitHub. I'm going to put the link and copy this. Let me copy it right. Let me create a folder. And within this folder, First step, this is the very first step, keep in mind. Git clone, right? And put the link, Nexus theme. It downloads the Nexus theme. First thing is done. First step is cleared. Now let's check the documentation. Go to the packages folder and create a directory name VFIX technology. I'm going to copy. Let me come to my Bagisto. I'm going to go to package here. We're going to create a folder named VFIX technology. That's the vendor. It's already created. I was developing some another package. Ignore this one. So if you don't have this, you will not have it by default. You have to create it and make sure do not make any typo. V should be caps and as it is. Then create a theme name as it is. Copy from here. Let me create new folder Nexus theme. Then we're going to copy the code in here, right? I'm going to take this code, Bagisto, and inside from this, right where you see the SRC, copy the code and put it right here inside 
Nexus theme. I repeat, clone the code, go to the packages, inside packages, create a new folder named VFIX technology. Inside VFIX technology, create one more folder, Nexus theme, and inject the code right here, which starts from SRC here, right? Then you have to add the service provider. Copy this service provider path. Come to the bootstrap and providers and paste the provider like this. Done. Then you have to, this is a local package. You, you have to add into the PSR4 in auto load. So go to the composer, uh, JSON, right here under auto load, PSR4. Come and add this code, right? It's already here. Now you're supposed to run a command, composer dump auto load, right? Let me stop the server. Composer dump auto load. So this is gonna add the package to our existing Bugisto. So technically we are adding a custom package into Bugisto so we could apply the new theme. It might take a couple of seconds. I may fast forward the video. Perfect. This command is done. Now, what we're supposed to do, come to the config themes folder and under right here, we're gonna add this command. So I'm gonna copy this code and come to config and themes. Right, right here. Under shop theme, there's a default theme right here. Below this array, we're gonna paste our custom theme. Let me fix the code. So Nexus theme has a name and it has read files location. That's it. Once you add it, you have to go to NP, go to the theme folder and yes, theme folder. I repeat, if you see here, this is our, let me open it. This is our main Bugisto code. Go to the package, we fix technology, Nexus theme, right here, open the command line and run npm install, right? And after that, we're gonna run npm build. npm build. Let me see, npm run build, did I make some mistake? Yes, my bad. NPM run build. And it is configuring the weeds for us and for our new file and setting up the sets. This one is done. Once you're done with this command, one more time, go to the main directory and run this composer dump auto load in the main directory. Yes, make sure in the main directory, not within the package. So I'm in the main directory, composer dump auto load. Hopefully it should catch our new theme and should work perfectly fine. Now last command here is PHP artisan vendor publish. We're gonna publish the assets, right? So I'm gonna copy this. Once the dump command is done, we'll publish the configuration and clear the cache and should work fine. So technically this is a local package, which we're gonna inject into our Bugisto and set it up. Perfect, so this is done. Now PHP Artisan, optimize, clear, and all set. Now I'll tell you how the new theme shall be applied. So PHP Artisan serve. Let's see what we see. So far the website would not get changed we just need to apply the new theme first, then it'll change. So go to the dashboard, and if I'm not wrong, settings, then channel. Under channel, we have to go to edit, and here we can find the new theme name. You see that? Nexus shows up. Choose Nexus, click on save channel. Now it'll make the change instantly. If we go to the home page, it should wipe out. Everything should be a blank page if the new theme has been applied. Perfect. It is talking our language, you see that? And the color, color went to black as well from blue. 
So we have applied our new theme, which has all the features which I explained to you. The only thing which you have to make some changes on the home page, because on the home page, if you see, come to settings, then themes, the home page has some sections which applied to the default theme. We need to change one by one to the new theme. Let me show you what I meant. From 10 to make 20 settings, themes, from 10 to 20 sections. And the very first section is image carousel. Come here, click on edit and choose from default theme to Nexus theme. Now the Nexus theme will have this section, right? So if I refresh the home page, we should have the slider. Yep, I think it came up, right? So this is how we can add the content onto our new theme. So just, just go ahead to each section and change to the new section, technically to the new theme. And our new theme will have the same home page as it was before. So guys, I hope it did make sense for you. You got a brand new theme which has some extra features, though it looks same, but some extra improved feature, which will make sense as when you start using it. So guys, if you need any help, feel free to comment me. And if need any customization or custom website development, contact us, I could make dedicated package for you. Thank you so much for your time. And if I give you any value, please subscribe and I'll see you in the next one. Thank you. Bye for now.